So for those of you who haven't heard about this by now, there is a big rumor and report going around in the NBA space that John Wall is actually prepared to do something which I very much am going to applaud as an Australian myself. I'm, I'm like, yeah, why is this taking so long for so many people to catch on? And that is the reports going around right now is that John Wall is actually preparing to sign a contract with an Australian NBL team. Now, this is really awesome for a lot of different reasons. First of all, John Wall can't get back into the NBA. It just doesn't seem like it's working out. He hasn't been able to find his way back there. You know, a lot of injuries have had a lot of parts to this and whatnot. And then, of course, there is the other issue that John Wall can go and play in the G League, but the G League is still not really a league that gets so many viewers, as many viewers as it probably should. I mean, there are definitely views going to like the NBA G League and Night Team, just because there are so many good young players there. But if you were to ask someone, name more than one player on like the Cleveland Charge team, right? It just, it doesn't, it's, you can't do it. <laughs> it just doesn't really happen. There are not many G League fans out there, which is really unfortunate because I do like the G League. It's just, again, the NBA very much overshadows it. There's a league right now in the NBL that has had a lot of really popular plays in the last couple years. That is an extremely popular league around not only Australia, but in New Zealand, the Philippines and Singapore and a couple other Asian countries around Australia. I think even Indonesia as well that this league, the NBL, is getting really, really popular, and it just seems that more and more players are finally realizing this and are starting to think that, hold on, this can actually be a way to potentially revive my career. We, of course, saw Matthew Dellavedova go and sign with Melbourne United, where he had an extremely successful run there that actually led him getting back into the NBA and signing with the Sacramento Kings. We've seen young players like Xavier Cooks and Jock Landale all manage to find their ways onto NBA teams, and another player that's, I think, done pretty well, which is kind of surprising uh, considering no one really knew who this guy was a couple years ago, is Tory Craig. Again, he started off in the NBL for a very long time, and now he's a really solid role player on and has been for a bunch of different NBA teams. Then you got all the young players who have been coming to the NBL. We know LaMelo Ball is the biggest and the best. He's done extremely well. We know that Usman Jang from OKC did come from the New Zealand Breakers in the NBL, uh, RJ Hampton for Orlando, Denver, and Detroit now. And I think, of course, Luke Travers, I think he got drafted to the Cleveland Cavaliers from the NBL. So much talent coming through the NBL and whatnot, and the league is here to stay, and it is getting a lot more popular. And now you got a dude like John Wall, who has a legitimate chance to potentially sign there, and a team like Southeast Melbourne offering him a better offer than any G League team could practically offer. They're offering similar money, if not more, and they're offering the spotlight, which could rev potentially get him back into the NBA. So I went on a podcast with Rally Hall and Pip Sports where we decided to talk about this exact matter. And it's pretty funny because Rally is a massive John Wall fan and here's what they had to say about it. What about the what about the guy Southeast Melbourne up with the other week? Do you think he could be top ten, really? You said who? John Wall. John Wall. Yeah, John Wall top ten. I'm going <laughs> all in. Top 10? I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. He he coming back. Watch. He about to average the thirty. NBA's new franchise player. Thirty and. Yeah. He might as well go ahead and hit the big three. He but. <laughs> He might as well go ahead and play for the Ice Cube League. Man, why, hey, man, why not? Man, y'all wrong, man. I hope John Wall hear this too, man. <laughs> no, I respect him. He's going to be playing in my league. I'm going to get I'm going to get to watch him firsthand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's going to be nice. I want it. <laughs> <laughs>